and welcome back to the channel mr acolyte here coming at you with another match review we are once again back at ect top eight this time we've got hikari versus scamby let's go ahead and check this one out all right so this one should be interesting hikari you know him you know his team scamby HOC man right there. If you watch any HOC, you see Scamby all the time. Man's got a really strong team. Heavy hitter team. Heavy mix going on. <laughs> okay, so one whiff reflect, but we do not get the pickup. 16 gets two pickups right there. Oh my goodness. Ikari trying to get out of trouble. No extra assist. Ooh, I was about to say that he doesn't have an assist for Oki, but Scamby went for a, let me actually go back a little further. He went for a jab reset here. So Scamby, as you can see, he likes the grappler characters. So he's a big fan of reset. So that's exactly what happened here. He does a 5L to end the combo on purpose. Super jumps, waiting for you to tech. Goes for the dragon rush, but Hikari was ready. He was ready. The spin. Man, go man, Jiden's new spin. Am I the only one that thinks Jiden's new spin is so goofy? That spin, the, the, the controlled spin, I think, is so goofy. <laughs> Level three already? Oh my goodness. Man, that's really, really good. Getting Super Buddy powered up this early is amazing. Look at the meter. Building already. Keeping him locked. Ooh, that is anti-raw tag. Cannot raw tag on the big man. Ooh, man. Pressure. Oh, I like the attempt from Scamby there, though. I like the attempt. He used a 2L here. Six frames. He used a 2L to check. The post dragon, um, dragon rush, super dash situation, which was great. And then he 2H just to get some more frame advantage here to buffer in his command grab. But Hikari went for the DP to get out of this situation. Uh, I'd like to add Scamby even covered the grab with Jiden just in case. But all of that is moot when a DP is coming out. And Gogeta Blue being very, very privileged that his DP switches sides. In Street Fighter VI, the character that does that the most is Kami. Kami has the side switching DP and everybody hates it. All right, we are playing neutral. Get off of me. Beams. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Nice side swap. I don't think I've ever seen that before. 2M, 2L, 2M, 5M. That was crazy. Hikari's been playing a lot of Street Fighter lately, and Street Fighter side switch combos are like a big deal. Side switch setups in general is really important in that game. Oh, you cannot mix me if I counter you. <laughs> What if you wanted to mix Jiden and he put his hand out? Mm, not off of this starter, he can't kill, but another level three. Wouldn't it be funny if he powered up even more? Like, wouldn't it be funny if the if the meter started going up faster after you level three the second time? Oh, he did the grab right there, but he did the, the OTG one. 5-H to check him. I like that. Oh, but Hikari took his turn. I like the 5-H to check the empty vanish situation because since it has armor, he would have been safe to just about anything. Made himself safe with that, but he must have flinched right here. He didn't hit a button, but he must have held up back. Oh, man. Look at the damage. Sparking Vegito 5M, goodbye. We'll see you next time. All right, transition. We got 16 coming in, 16. Pretty good at turning the tide since he can ignore assists. 
just like that. <laughs> he can completely ignore neutral, but Hikari was ready. He jumped at the last second and then punished with a super dash. He was ready. What do we do with this? Are we going to level three? Nope, we're just going to do a corner push, back dash, play in neutral, spin to win. Oh, I like that. Man, that was a great punish. A little, little bit of an odd choice to vanish there for Scamby. That was kind of a, that's a little bit of a panic vanish. That is going to cost him right there. I think that's going to cost him his character. Yeah, Jiden is out of there. Two touch. Whoa! Not two touch, but I meant, I meant two bars, but not even that. He just went level three just to get him out of there. He wants to keep 17 out. I, I'm, I guess he likes the 17 matchup against 16. He decided to spend an extra bar just to keep this matchup. Ooh. It, that's probably the reason why. He probably wants those two assists behind him against 16. I respect it. This is not going to be able to kill yet, but Scamby is going to be put in a terrible situation. This is awful for him. This is awful. Really? Oh, man. I forgot that that happened. Let me see that again. Dang, it just didn't affect him because he was in the middle of the backspin, bro. He was doing the backdash version of the Rekka, so it just didn't affect him. And then he just punched him in the chest. What a moment, brother. What a moment. Until, until I saw this match live, I did not know that that worked like that. It's crazy that there are still things in this game that you can learn at this point. Isn't that crazy? Like every now and then you see something and it's like, wow, I did not know that worked like that. Crisscross. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. I think Scamby is kind of mentally hurt right now by how crazy that situation was. He up tech tried to get out and immediately got picked up. Dang. I feel like here Scamby should have taken a moment to regroup his thoughts because that ending was so crazy. Going, going right back in after that, I think is a little risky. Jiden is off the table. Scamby's got a mountain to climb here, a literal mountain. Ooh, but 16 hits him in the ankle. All right, we're going up, building a million bars. I mean, it's pretty obvious what's going to happen here. We're going to level three. Take the shirt off. It's funny because that Saiyan armor is really powerful, and that man disintegrates it. <laughs> that Saiyan armor, let me remind you, it's designed to withstand like an Ozaru transformation. And my man disintegrated it. <laughs> Oh, yeah. See, that's a that's a mistake right there on Scamby's part. When someone does a super to tag, you pretty much want to let it rock because there's a chance you can vanish and, like, smack them out of it. But in most instances, the character that's coming out is going to hit you. But even worse, on Gogeta Blue, as you can see, it caused him to vanish into it. You see that? He vanished directly into it. It does not put you behind him. Some attacks are like that, where um, if you vanish, the hitbox detection gets a little awkward. So like right there, he just teleported into the Big Bang right there, which is crazy, and then got hit with Vegito on top of that. So yeah, when someone is, when someone's safe tagging, it's better to just let it happen in most instances. That goes a bar. Indeed, I need that. I mean, if you if you just look at it logically, they're spending two bars. Yeah, they're getting out, but they're losing a lot of resources. And they're usually going to lose a turn as well. Usually get a turn for that. Nice defense right there, Vegito. All mids, but one of the best mids in the game is going to connect. Oh, that was a counter hit. 
Ooh, that is wow. That's just like wow. That's that's so funny. So the river dance animation is so long that he has time to land on the ground and then super jump back up and get all of his resources back, get all of his jumps and everything back. That's hilarious. That's actually hilarious, man. Team synergy, bro. Team synergy. Brother, I can't believe how much damage Sword Super does. Like if he's right on top of you, Sword Super does so much damage, bro. Look at that. He had a lot left. So just 16, Anchor 16, not impossible, but it is impossible if this happens to you. Dang, that is unfortunate. I'm pretty sure he's gonna spark, absolutely. And that is the end of the match. Before I could even finish saying that it's possible, the door to the comeback has been closed. And Hikari eliminates Scamby, moving on in the bracket. What a set. So I feel like the turning point in this one was pretty much this point right here. I think the pacing of the final game was just a little too high. I think it's kind of hard to, like, especially against Hikari's team, I think it's hard to play at a, well, not I think, I know. It is very hard and very disadvantageous to play at a high speed against Hikari's team because he's got Gogeta, who, as you can see, will murder you. And he's got Gogeta with two defensive assists behind him. So like when you play fast, against this team, the odds are not gonna be in your favor. So I feel like Scamby losing the point war that early on kind of put him in a bad spot. He did get a good pickup here and he had some momentum, but when he tried to stop this safe tag from Hikari, it kind of cost him everything right here because then his uh, Broly got put on a slippery slope there. And then at that point with a anchor 16, it was going to be really hard to make a comeback. Good stuff to both players, though. Gamby walking away with seventh place. Definitely a good showing from both. I'm looking forward to seeing what happens in the next match. And with that, we have reached the end of the review. I appreciate you listening, guys. We are about halfway through, I think, with the top eight. So make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss any of the upcoming action. Leave a like if you enjoyed this. It really does help out the channel a lot, and I do appreciate it. Check out the playlist at the end of the video if you want to see more from me, including sets from other games like Grand Blue and Guilty Gear Strive. Strive Season 4 is coming up soon, so we're going to be playing a hell of a lot of that. And Vicala is dropping in Grand Blue soon, so we're going to be playing a hell of a lot of that, so keep an eye out for that stuff. Also, feel free to come join us on Twitch, where we are playing a lot of games, making my way through Silent Hill, as well as we're going to be playing some Mario Party with the chat. A lot of fun stuff happening over there if you want to come join us. But as always, you guys have a good one, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.